All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy, crazy, crazy video. Now, apparently Kamala Harris did like the little ad thing. She been doing a lot of ad things to give people a reason to vote for her. But this is is by far the worst one okay this one is ridiculous all right it's very ridiculous and this is just to show how people only is voting for her because she's so-called black and they don't even care about the future for their kids or even themselves so without further ado man let's go ahead and get into this little campaign ad whatever you want to call it let's just get into this video all right hit the like button subscribe to my post notifications i get my take at the end let's get it let go hi everyone it's kamala harris each day, we are seeing our rights and freedoms under attack, including the right of everyone to be who they are, love who they love, openly and with pride. So as we fight back against these attacks, let's all remember, no one is alone. We are all in this together, and your vote is your power. So please make sure your voice is heard this November and register to vote at vote.gov. Can I get an amen? Amen! Now on with the show. And remember, you better vote. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Bro, Kamala I, Harris. Did I just watch a video of like, well, how, how many was it? Four or five grown men dressed as women? Like, oh my gosh. Okay. This is my thing. This is the same drag show, whatever you call RuPaul's drag. This is the same show that just had a little boy practicing to be a drag queen. I, I promise you can look it up, bro. Actually, you know what? Just to say y'all some time, I personally will go ahead and I will look it up for you guys. I will simply look it up for you guys. It, this is the same drag. Day. Here we go right here. Wait, is this it? Here we go right here. Look at this junk, bro. This is ridiculous. I have another video to show you guys. This, this that that's one of them. Oh man, I got another one, brother. I got another one. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? Where is it? Here go the other one right here. All right, that's copyright music. Let's just play without the music. Like just. This is uh, this is sick. This is freaking sick, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And this is the problem. This is the problem right here. See, Kamala Harris, what she's trying to do is she's trying to she's trying to get into people's feelings. You feel me? And what I mean by that is that we know that this country is supposed to be based off truth and facts and logic. But this country is starting to be based off people's feelings. How do people feel? How do the nation feel? And if we know about the LGBTQ and we know about abortions and all these controversial topics that if you have a conversation with anyone about them and you give them facts, they will, they will deny the facts because their feelings are more important than the facts. And what Kamala Harris is doing with these little ad campaigns is she's trying to get to people feelings she want people because people want to be people want to vote based off their emotions how they feel they're not going to vote based off facts they're not going to vote based off logic common sense they're going to vote based off their emotions so kamala is doing something that is going to boost up her votes extremely you know how people are about the lgbt community you say anything wrong against them guess what you may get canceled people are not going to like you because guess what? You could say the factual things about it, but at the end of the day, my whole thing with this is that, like I said before, and I'll say a thousand times, I'm not a politician. I'm here for truth. But when I see that this nation has gone downhill, it has literally gone downhill, and then y'all try to do a nation without God. Y'all try to run, like you have presidents trying to come into office 
without God. And that's that's why the nation is the way it is. And then you got people who in their personal lives, they don't even know God. So they do things like this. They put their kids on stage with drag queens. And you got kids practicing to be a drag queen at the age of 8, 9, 10 years old. And they're supposed to be playing with Minecraft box. Like, come on. like Let's just be real here. This is what happens when you take God out of your life. And this is what happens. Look around us. Look at this nation. This is what happens when you remove God from the nation. When you remove God from the nation and put secular into the nation, instead of putting God into the nation, and when you tolerate people's sins and you tolerate the way people feel, this is the outcome that we have. We have a freaking president talking about something that has nothing to do with politics. You, you like, I like be who you are, and we're here to love who you. Love. What does that have to do with a better future for any of us? Is what does that have to do with a better future for any of us? I'm being real. It has nothing to do with a better future for my kids or nothing. I, I like I don't care. This, this world is so secular. I don't care no more, bro. As I just scroll through social medias, bro, my heart literally aches for people because it's so sad how people are just so far away from God. They don't know truth. They they and then they find they try to find so many other different things that go against God, the one and only true God, to benefit to to benefit and and what's the uh, other word I'm looking for? I just say benefit just for a lack of vocabulary, but it's to benefit their feelings. It's to comfort their feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what, this is what we're, this is who you women plan to vote for. Y'all plan to vote for someone who supports something like this. Like, make it make sense, bro. Like, like I would say this. It's not the fact. Yes, I, I don't agree with voting a woman to lead this country, but I promise you this. If we had a woman who was running for presidency and we had no men who 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 was who actually seemed like they had some type of logic to run this country, like when I say that, I'm talking about the policies that they was trying to the policies that the men are trying to implement in this country are just some terrible against God policies. And if we have a woman who who has God policies, who are who's trying to implement God get like God ordained policies, I will vote for that woman. Because at the end of the day, I don't want this country to go any more secular than what it is. And I know a lot of people may think that's contradicting, but it's really not. I don't agree with a woman leading, but if her policies aligns with God's with God values and it aligns with the word of God, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? But Kamala, her policies don't align with nothing about God. It doesn't. She's for abortions. She for she's for the she's bro. Bro, did you see the freaking video? Bro, it was a video. It was a it was another ad campaign. Of Kamala Harris. Every person in that video was waving a LGBT flag. No American flags. I kid you not. You can look it up on YouTube. Look up Kamala ad campaign, whatever. Look it up. You will see every person was waving an LGBT flag. Nobody was waving an American flag. That shows the person that we're voting to office. She cares more about people's personal lives, like people as in like their 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 uh gender their gender identity or their sexuality. She cares more about that than caring about trying to make this nation to a better nation. You see everybody holding up LGBT flags, everybody, everybody uh they're so for abortion and this is like, bro, why would I vote somebody like that into office, bro? Now, if her policies was all for God and Trump policies was none about God and it was nothing for God and it was all against God, I would not vote for Trump. But because his policies align with the word of God, and I'm not saying every single policy he has, it does. But I'm saying majority of his policies align with the word of God. Why would I not vote for a man like that? And he's a man that's going that I believe that can lead this country into becoming a more godly country. I'm just saying you can you can debate me all day long, but there's nothing to debate. You can't debate facts. But anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Please do not get this woman into office. I like, please, like, I, like I don't care if you don't ever vote. And this is like you, you, you feel like it's work, it's pointless, man. Think about the future, bro. I, I understand the government not for us. I understand that even some presidents, you got presidents that are not really for the people. I'm not even saying black people. I'm talking about for the people. I'm talking about for the for the citizens of America. But man, if you if you wasn't never to vote, man, to, this this is the time to vote. This, this is the time to vote. Seriously. So get out and vote, but do not, please do not vote for this woman, man. Look at the policies of these people, bro. And then you can make your decision based off the policies. Don't base your, don't base your decision off your feelings or race, please. Race ain't got nothing to do with politics. This ain't got nothing, like, 
the, the feelings ain't got nothing to do with politics. It's all about the policies and how we can make this country a better and a godly country for a better future. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to all notifications. Be your boy, Japan. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.